Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about dark feminine energy. There are two different energies, light and dark, and you also can manifest with these two energies. But today we're gonna talk about how to radiate dark feminine energy. For me, the difference between these two is that dark energy is mysterious, deep, calm, mature, seductive. And the light energy is soft, innocent, bubbly, naive, positive, and cute. So they're both about confidence and realizing that we are all, as a woman, our goddesses. We are so powerful and once we accept this power, everything will come easily to us. For me, dark feminine energy is more my thing by nature. When I'm in my dark feminine energy, it feels like home to me, you know? I don't need to force anything, I just can be myself. I think it's because of my Scorpio stellium, so their traits are the most dominant in my personality, even though my son is in Libra. I think that all Scorpio's women are in their dark feminine energy, at least one that I know. And what the Scorpio's common traits? It's passionate, deep, uh, persistent, strategic, secretive, intense, um, love dark humor, cloth, uh, movies, books, everything dark is associated with Scorpio's. They never show their cards and this enigmatic nature would make them so seductive. So in my case, it's a strong, visible Scorpio energy. And even when I'm trying to suppress it, my eyes, they never lie. My stare is intense and sometimes can be intimidating. I know what they think about me. <laughs> Let's talk about darkness first. Most of the people are so scared of darkness, especially men. Oh gosh, you can't even imagine how many weak men told me Oh, stop with your darkness and stuff like that. Because it's powerful and contains knowledge that most people don't have access to and it scares them. That's why a lot of weak men are so weirdly scared but deep down obsessed with witches. Because they understand that women hold power and if you're one of those women who are fully aware of it, then it's impossible to manipulate you and makes you feel like you're not good enough. But strong, mature and masculine men are understand it and always embrace it because they understand the law of balance and would treat you like a goddess as you are without being scared for his ego. If you've never tried to lean into a dark feminine energy, then first thing first that I can recommend to you is start with your external attributes. For example, start to wear more dark colors, black, dark red, try to wear heels more often, um, long red nails, but not in a ratchet way, okay? <laughs> understand right now i don't have a red nails because i'm actually trying to lean into light feminine energy more <coughs> she's trying try to add some elements in your look that made of leather for example leather jackets boots coat a little trick that you can use is to wear some dark sexy lingerie even if you are wearing some basic outfit it will help you to feel more confident and you will radiate this mysterious energy of you know have something that you all don't even know but i'm not gonna reveal it to you all because it don't prove me that you deserve it <coughs> what about behavior use your siren eyes don't be scared of an eye contact don't use like mm -hmm. yes i understand you mm -hmm. oh my god <laughs> no no it's no it's not it use your siren eyes like like a little bit like mm -hmm. like that's all you see the difference you see talk slower enchanting look up to the women who are into that dark feminine energy like angelina jolie megan fox dita fontis rihanna monica bellucci uh who else <laughs> catherine pierce from the vampire diaries actually a really good example of dark feminine energy and the opposite of dark feminine energy light feminine energy, Yelena Gilbert. 
because he's like, oh, oh, all the time, all the time she's a victim. How is this possible? How do we look exactly alike? Ephistonum is actually a really good example, but not her teenage chaotic era. Please don't take it as a reference. Uh, more like her fire skin seventh season Effie, an adult life. Like she, her outfits on season seven are. Oh, I'm in love, and her makeup, everything, so chic, so elegant. I love it. So take it as a reference more. Money is war. I get it. He needs to think that he's winning. When in fact, you are. Am I? Easy boss. Well, okay, Effie is a very questionable person, even when she's an adult. I hope you understand that I'm not talking about her life decisions. I'm talking about the way she acts and her first impression. The iconic moment from Basic Instinct to is Sharon Stone is your reference, okay? So go and study right now. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Charge me with smoking? All of this woman that I told you about, you need to study and copy their body movements, their behavior, how they talk. Look at it like it's soul and act. And you have a role and you're an actress. Turn it all into fun. Don't be so serious about it. Like, oh, now I'm in my dark feminine energy. That's it. Hm. No, it's creative. It's fun. It's game. It's life, you know? <laughs> I love movies from 90s and especially erotic thrillers with femme fatale prototype and that's what we need. It was very popular back to the old days and I highly recommend to watch it to learn how to behave in dark feminine energy and not only because of that reason but also for whole aesthetic, for music, for outfits. This is one of my biggest inspiration, for sure. I can recommend you listen to more music that radiate this dark feminine energy. Maybe find some playlists on Spotify. I think it should be a lot of them. That's one of the reasons why I love Lana Del Rey, and especially her Ultraviolence album. It's one of my favorite. And some of her unreleased songs. And by the way, she has a Scorpio rising, so I think it's one of the reasons why she radiated this energy and she had this vibe of dark femme fatale. It's 100% because of Scorpio rising, I'm sure. But all of the things that I told you about are just external attributes, which I'm not saying they're meaningless. No, actually it's important to start with your facade, because after that, when you will feel comfortable with your new look, you will start to crave more knowledges about dark feminine energy and we want to fulfill all of the missing elements, of course. The main thing is your mindset. You can't be in your dark feminine energy and be a people pleaser. No, it's impossible. You should become unapologetic. Set your standards high and act according to them. And accept people in your circle who act according to them too. Tapping into your dark feminine energy can improve you to take a decision that serves you first. A lot of people call women like that bitches, but only insecure, weak-minded people will say such a disrespectful thing to a woman who is just self-confident and put herself as a priority as she is. A woman who is into her dark feminine energy is not a bitch. She doesn't insult anyone. She doesn't hurt anyone on purpose. She just unbothered and confident, and she is not gonna settle for less. And you'll be surprised how many people can be offended by it. Dark feminine energy is not about fear. Well, tapping into dark feminine energy is through fear, mostly, that we find out courage to overcome, making us stronger, you know? <laughs> and I'm not talking about stupid risk or anything. No, let's all agree that we all should be smart, okay? At least if you are my subscriber. 
It's not being afraid of saying what you want, getting attention and being a first priority. Be wise about life, people, their true intentions. Not wearing a pink eyeglasses and study psychology. Know what kind of technique, manipulation methods they use, thinking that they can take advantage of you. And don't be afraid to apply acquired knowledges in practice. Unbotheredness and acting strategically are the keys. Always being one step ahead. And as I said before, a lot of people are afraid of dark feminine energy, but being in a dark feminine energy doesn't mean being depressed or having a negative mindset or see life through dark lens. No, no, it's not it. Dark feminine energy is powerful and you radiate confidence with that. And depression and negative thoughts are not about it. It's completely opposite. It's about embracing yourself and don't feel shame and disapprovement. Dark feminine energy is all about if I want something, I can easily get it. And this energy attracts like a magnet and they will always searching for it because it's intriguing and risky. But ladies, remember, we're not doing it for other men, for other people and stuff like that. We're doing it for ourselves, okay? I can recommend to read you more about dark goddesses, about occultism, and going deeper in a darker knowledge, but be careful, be smart. You are my subscriber, you, you have to be, you have to be smart, okay? Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.